Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am back with another episode of Best of Craft Fair Favorites. This video, of course, is after my craft fair is done, but I still want to share it with you guys because maybe you are interested in doing this as a gift or craft fair, or teacher, co-worker, neighbor, friend, anyone. Um, this idea comes solely from my BFF Audrey, who is so good all here on YouTube, Instagram. Check her out. She, um, we were in a group chat, of course, me, her, and Cheryl. Cheryl does the most craft fair. So if you're looking for craft fair ideas and table setups, check out Cheryl's channel. She's Jim Zile. I'll put both of their channels in the description box. But when we do our group chat, you know, we share and bounce ideas off each other and show pictures of what where we are. A lot of times we craft into the wee hours of the morning. Like currently, right now, we are crafting. It is 1.50 in the morning and we're still chatting and saying what are you working on what are you working on because we both have we all have craft fairs today so at any rate i um audrey was doing her bottles and she has sent us a picture of her finishing her bottles they are absolutely gorgeous i think she posted them on instagram she used this really blue paper and of course this paper's discontinued so but i went at the dollar store route and found some really fun tags that i think will do the trick just as well so i'm going to share those with you but i did these really cute bottles um so yeah the idea comes from audrey and i thought that i would try it i have never seen this at a craft fair before but i think it's a great idea either way if i don't sell them there or not um, I think it's a great idea as a gift. So this is how they turned out. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are actually, let me show you what the bottle, well, I'll show you that in a second. But so yeah, I made, I bought a case of 12. Look how gorgeous they are. Like you can wrap these up any style, any, you know, however you want. But I just want to show you the different tags um, that came in this, the, how I decorate them. But really really cute so you guys can see all the rest of that lovely lovely I'm gonna move these out the way and then we're gonna put one little set together okay so we're going to need the sparkling white grape juice I think they come in two different flavors um, at the Dollar Tree so I got a case of 12 of course they're a dollar a piece I just got a whole case I didn't want to do any more than that um, so I, like I said don't know how they'll work out but at any rate if they don't sell at the craft fair um, these will be so cute. Just think of just putting one of these on your coworker's desk with a cute little note. Like, how inexpensive but cute is that? Like, I'm definitely doing it. If I have any of these left, I am definitely doing that. So, there we go. Sparkling white grape juice. Look like a little cute little wine bottle. Okay. And then I got these mini bowls, again, from the Dollar Tree. Really pretty. And finally... I got these gift tags. I had these gift tags already. You guys know I've been using these gift tags on my pillow boxes. And I used them on um, some other crafts. I used them on my candy wrappers. So these are all left over. So what I purchased was the bottles and these gift bowls. So I'm using all of my stash. I even finished up almost all of my ribbon from the paper clips um, that I bought. Remember I had some ribbon and then I use the rest of the ribbon from last year almost done with the ribbon so use your shop your stash for what you have okay these came from last year only had a few left but I had enough I bought had these um, from last year they're from the Dollar Tree as well and I used them to decorate my Christmas tree but I used these items as well so even if you don't have any of these items and you want to make a few of these for your co-workers to decorate you, you can eliminate this this is just extra you could even eliminate this and just use this but this is one dollar one dollar one dollar one dollar so for four dollars and one more dollar wait a minute we need the bags these loot bags I keep these on deck all the time but this is a great gift if you have zero items and you have a Dollar Tree you can spend five dollars and make somebody very very happy so let me show you how to put it together okay you'll need a piece of cardstock base my cardstock is white of course and I think that worked better I wanted to get craft but the white with the bottle being white at the top I thought it best to use white as my base to kind of tie everything all together and then you need to cut your uh, cardstock at three by six and then you'll need a piece of if you're doing it like mine and just using the little tags you need a piece 
to kind of go on the white paper because it doesn't look oh it doesn't look equal with just the tag popped on there so I'm using another little base pair uh, base layer and you're gonna cut this at two and one two three four one two three four five six seven eighths so this the the dimensions on this paper is three by three and a half so you're just gonna cut it an eighth of an inch shorter than that okay so that is two and seven eighths by three and one two three eighths for that paper okay we're done with the trimmer so you're going to take your white piece of cardstock and then your bone folder and you just want to score this white piece there we go at three and a half okay easy peasy and I'm going to take you need some type of hole punch or something so that the tag can fall on the neck of the bottle I'm using this scallop punch just to add something cute to it and all I'm going to do at the top half of where you scored it so let's score it or let's fold it over so there's a big side and a small side at the top half you're going to center in and punch your circle like so okay you can use that piece for whatever you want a tag or hang a two from or something I'm not going to use it I don't I didn't use it today all right you want to take your piece of card stock I just added some ATG tape to it and then I'm going to center it right there in the middle of the bottom half easy Okay, you want to take your tags. Remember these tags, they're from the Dollar Tree, but these tags are, you're able to leave a message like so. Of course, I'm going to cut them off just like I did the other little craft. Just cut that little puppy off. Actually, I want to use this one. I'm going to use this piece one because I only used it once and I thought it was super cute isn't that adorable okay so I'm just going to add some hot glue to the back of this tag and layer it on top just like so and then I'm going to take one of my mini bows it has adhesive on the back you can peel that right on off okay and then you want to apply some I always apply a little glue on mine anyway just for some added security stick that right on top easy peasy take your bottle bloop pop that down isn't that cute it hangs hangs and it's awesome and it's quick and it's cute done with that so now Take your loot bag, which is in the party section at the Dollar Tree. You just want to put your bottle inside of there. Nice and neat. Like so. And grab some string, ribbon. You can use curly ribbon from the Dollar Tree. You can use leftover ribbon that you have in your stash. I'm using this ribbon from the leftover from the paper clips craft and I'm just going to tie it right around in a cute in a cute little bow I used all the rest of the ribbon that I had on the other ones until they ran right right on out so we got that and then I'm going to take one of these little ornaments just for an added little festiveness and I'm going to take a little bit of twine you can also use some ribbon if you want but I'm just using a little twine and I'm going to tie it around kind of center it in the middle of where that bow is and tie it around the neck of the bottle and I'm going to tie it in a knot and I'm going to cut the excess off close to the knot so that it looks super cute like that 
and then I'm just going to cut this off right to the top of the bottle, the excess bag, not a whole lot. Open that up a little bit. And there we go. How cute is that? Repeat that as many times as you like and you're good to go. Shop your stash at home. Grab your bottle. You have, I'm sure you, if you craft already, you have ribbon, you have a tag. You could even use journaling cards from your paper collection. Take some card stock, some plain card stock. Use those little three by four tags that come in your, your paper collection. When you get a 12 by 12, put them right on the top. Add your ribbon and you're done. Easy craft, inexpensive, great gift. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching another episode here of the Best of Craft Fair series. And I look forward to um, seeing your comments of as far as the people that are participating, whether or not you'll try this at home. And um, I'm going to go ahead and move to the next thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.